Again, the giant specialist is just too good right now. It's just too good to climb. That's my go-to, honestly. Quick Supply is also very good. But I dislike Storm Colors to begin with. Let's go for a cost control. Hi, Creeds. How are you? Like, honestly, all our options there were pretty great. Uh, okay, Marksman Specialist. Well, we have a lot of chaff for this Marksman Specialist, which is good. Ready to climb? Yeah, we'll try. We'll try. I mean, I've, I don't really care that much about climbing. I just want to have fun games. Try funny tactics or whatever. Uh, will he get some... What will he get? Arc lights probably, right? Because I've got that much chaff. That means my sniper should be able to take them out. I think the arc lights have less range than no, they have probably the same range as the Mustangs. Let's save the Hundo. Yeah, they are in front, so that's good for our snipers. They will lock on, and I think we should win this now. Then yeah, even as the cost control will win this. Just because of uh, his arc light placement. Turn to War Factory. <laughs> War Factory. Uh, we do have a lot of chaff already for it, to be honest, because you really need a lot of chaff if you want to go for a War Factory. Oh, but subsidized storm color is also very good. Depends on what he puts in front of this. If it's fangs, it's great. If it's crawlers, not that great. Will he put crawlers in front of that? Is basically the question. Mass produced wasps is also nice, maybe. Although he does have already mustangs, maybe not then. He doesn't have air specialist. I think I'm gonna bet on the storm caller here. Because they're also quite good against the marksmen and the mustangs to start off with. Let's start leveling some guys. I think we want extra crawlers per se. We get the attack or the health. It doesn't really matter too much right now. I don't think we care. Okay, it's Fangs. Nice. He... He... Ah, oh, he got the redeployment ability, I think. Changed the positioning of his arc light. That's smart, because it was terrible. It was quite bad. So the Stormcall is a good good choice here. Uh, I don't know if he'll win this side, however. Well, we're doing quite alright. If we can take out everything here, that would be nice. The marksman takes out the other Marksman, almost level 3 as well. That's pretty good. get that tower before the marksman can hit my marksman that would be great okay that's perfect timing yeah they were almost there he's level three now that's great really useful right now I think the extended range fortress he doesn't really have any units that I would like to use it against uh, orbital bombardment is good I'm kind of scared that he'll use it against me though yeah I don't know if I'll pick that or not I don't think it's worth it right now I'd rather buy more units Maybe Sledgehammer. 
Those could work well here. The Mark Lights of our own would also be pretty nice, actually. But I think we can use this, this tankiness to chew through the, the fangs here. And that shields these two areas, at least. Just to protect us from... Uh, yeah, from the bombardments. Yeah, there we go. It was to be expected. Our Mustangs are probably gonna die. Yeah, there they go. Only four left. That's a shame. The rest kind of got out of it pretty well, actually. Could have been way worse. I think with the shields here now, though, I think we will win. What did he put down? More Mustangs? I think so. Yeah, I think he just put down more Mustangs. Okay, the site without our Mustangs obviously lost. Which is a shame, but also fine. We might still win it. I hope these guys stay in the shield. But they won't. No, they won't. Oh, maybe now they will. I think they will now. Yeah. If these guys can just hit their volley. There we go. Very nice. Yeah, let's see what he did. Okay, crawlers here. And Mustangs there. Yeah, the crawlers are uh, against the storm crawlers, obviously. Intelligent marksmen. The marksmen are already going pretty strong. I don't know if I need that, to be fair. I'd rather go for the subsidized marksman here. So he doesn't have any big units yet. I think the Mustangs could really make a big difference. Alright, redeployed the crawlers, that's fine by me. Our sledges and mustangs will take care of that. Yeah. Got range on the arc lights as well, unfortunately. Why is it 133? What? Why is it 133 range? That's weird, no? He did go for the Intelligent Marksman, so we're just gonna need to use Chaff units, I guess. Or protect our big units if we ever drop some with Chaff. Ooh, Parasitic. He skills 51, 22. These guys did quite a lot already. I think I should put it on the sledges. If I take it, because he's got arc lights. Maybe I don't take it. I don't think I need to. Okay, he's got missile defense as well now. Fine by me. It's gonna be annoying, obviously, but that's that's okay. There will still some missiles getting through there. Okay. We will get the missile defense here again. That's nice. I need some more snipers as backup for our Mustangs, I think, just to take out the Arc Lights. The Arc Light has the crawler or the parasitic camo, so that's uh, that what that's what took so long there. Oops. Almost. Almost. Enhancement module. 
goods. But I don't really know where I should put it. If I did take it. I'd rather have the lightning storm to be honest, just to finish him off. shields. I think it's especially important here on this side. Okay, he hit the other side. I was expecting him to go for this side, honestly. Or wasps will get through. He did not shield at all. That is very, very, very surprising. I do not understand why you would do that. Let's hope we don't hit our own wasps here. Okay, it's gone. Yeah, we've got him. You've got him. It's a ni no nice last minute flank there. Even though he got the lightning storm off here, we actually managed quite well. It wasn't as worse as I would... Like, we didn't lose as worse I would... As bad as I would think. Words. Hard. Yeah, that was pretty good. We had a nice level 2. Yeah, everything leveled quite evenly. <laughs> 